um, as you're aware, there's a lot of programs out there in other countries that's a lot of people would like to watch. For example, this series on BBC One that's called, um, it's a show that my wife really liked, um, Mrs. Brown's Boys. It's a pretty good English series that comes on BBC One, but you use the iPlayer to play it. Um, there's some browsers that you can use this on, but the easiest way for you to set this up for it to work is Firefox. So if you don't have Firefox, go ahead and do so, then come back to the video. Once you get Firefox, you can go ahead. Um, the reason why I tell you get Firefox, for example, I'm using Safari. You may be able to use Safari too, but it's a longer process. So I decided to use um, Firefox instead of Safari. So it's like if I try to play this, you're going to keep getting this message because what happened is it's only available in the UK. Um, so right now, as you can see right here, give you this error message. So, you know, if you're on a Mac or PC, whatever, just go ahead, download Firefox. So once you get the Firefox, we're going to go ahead and take from there. So once you get Firefox up and running, you're going to go to their add-on page. What you want to search for is this program right here. It's called Foxy Proxy. You know, you can use the basic version because it's free and you know, why not? To test it out, if you want to go ahead and go ahead and get the standard version, you can do that too. But you know, I try the basic one and it works for me, so I'm fine with it. So anyway, go here, get Foxy Proxy Basic. And you're gonna to continue to the download page, of course. And once you download it, you're gonna be able to add it on, right? So you go here, you click Add to Firefox, it runs, and you get it installed. So once it's installed and complete, you're going to see this little blue icon up here. It's basically a blue Firefox. Okay. Once that's done and you run it, it's going to give you a tool, which is this tool. But before you do that and know how to set it up, you want to go to this site. This is the, the Foxy Proxy site. They tell you how to set it up. It's a pretty quick setup. So you can follow that. Um, what you're going to need, though, you're going to need um, an IP address. And a port number okay so you want to go here you're gonna go basically this is the website you can see i my ass.com i'm not cursing that's just the name of the website you're gonna go ahead you're gonna click on uk or wherever you're trying to find um the proxy for so the country so you go ahead and click uk you click update result you're gonna get maybe two or three depends on what's available so i got this one so you're gonna then copy this right here. So what you would do, you would go okay, and you would click add, like you added one for the first time. You paste that there, the IP address there, then you will copy the port number, you paste it here, and that's it. And you just push OK. When you come back over, this is gonna be on completely disabled file proxy, right? So we wanna do you wanna click up here where it says use proxy with the IP address that you you created and then click on that and then just click close alright after you do that you go here and you go back to the BBC page um, for example if you're trying to watch it in UK and you can search for any program say for example like I said I wanted to watch the same program there that I was trying to watch on Fire, um, Safari now when you come in here you click on it's in Firefox Firefox should load sometimes it may take a little while to load because you know it's trying to bypass the process and the player and so forth and you may have to just give it a little while if the fox stops spinning that means it didn't fully load so you can just go ahead and hit refresh that's wait. once it loads you will see the player come up and then you should be able to good to go so some may take a while some may go through much quicker than others but just give it some time it should load so we're gonna wait a little while so they said the address wasn't on this so basically something is going on with the website and it's not recognized so you will come across that so you go back to the BBC website you see right here hit refresh now when I came back over click on here you will require to create a pin number the first time you do this it's just for age verification that's all and you click on that and once it goes and loads you start watching the program and that's you get to watch these programs 
and you can go and watch anything it doesn't have to be this specific program but anything that's on the UK website you can watch that you weren't able to watch before everything you can watch nothing is off limit See? There you go. so with that process you can watch programs in UK anywhere in the world you are as long as you use this process anyway you are the iPhone geeks later send me a message drop a comment 